My name is Robert Evans. I've been working for the Green of Detroit for six years now, and I'm 21 years old. It's a butterfly dream garden, actually. Uh, if you look to the side, you see boards that have people's dreams and hopes of, for their community and the things that they want to do when they grow up, things like that. So thus the name Butterfly Dream Garden. It's a, you know, it has uh, basically the boards symbolize the wings and all the dreams that people in this neighborhood actually want to have happen, things that they want to happen to themselves and things like that are written on these boards. My name is Lizzie Baskerville and I'm 23 years old and this is my first time working for the Greening of Detroit. I love working with kids and I was an environmental science major um, and I wanted to be involved in like the urban greening movement in Detroit. Well just working at this site, um, I'm really pleasantly surprised at how many people walk by and are asking to volunteer and want to know what we're doing and want to become involved with it and want to know how they can be involved with it. Um, a lot of kids, a lot of high school age students come by and ask me um, and ask Rob like how they can get involved with the program. My name is Juan Davis. Uh, the way I got involved in this program is uh, I talked to my teacher and she uh, she let me know what was going on in the community. She told me that uh, it was a good opportunity for me to to better my community and make my community look good. So I said I wanted to help. The owner of this land, this property, Mike, he uh, he wanted a fire pit. They had started a fire pit already, which wasn't really much. So he asked us, can we re, re, uh, remake the fire pit and see if it looked better? Well, um, it was just basically a big hole full of bricks. And um, he asked us, can we, can we make it look good? So the older people in the community can't come and just sit down, start a fire, talk about whatever they want to talk about during the, uh, you know, the colder, the colder season, the fall time or whatever. Uh, when we're done with it, what it'll look like is basically a, a cultural clash between uh, things that aren't from here and things that are. Uh, in the upper right hand corner over here, as you can see, it's going to be an Africa themed garden. We're going to make uh, different color bricks and things like that to symbolize Africa and uh, here will be the fire pit as you can see and there'll be trees there you know just like a, a meditative area um, my partner is actually part Asian so she wanted to make a rock garden right here so we're gonna do that and then the other side will just be a children's area where you know we're gonna build a sandbox and things like that you know something for the kids to do while they're here